Three stair shopping is absolutely unbelievable. I was able to push to number one in the world by beating the best clan shop players on the planet right now. I was facing Ian77, who's arguably one of the top three mega players on the planet and was an absolutely incredible game. If you guys don't want to miss any content just like that on the channel, make sure to subscribe, make sure to use creator good mode in the shop. And I would say let's dive up into the games and let's see how I was able to get number one in the world. So guys, you were the first game against Lucas. By the way, I was recording these games already, but we're just gonna go into the pre-recorded scene because I just think it looks way better. And I went for poison first. I was kind of surprised that he picked guards. I mean, guards there are really solid, especially when arrows are not there or log. But I feel really comfortable just going in for the poison spell because poison is one of the best spells in this type of um, draft there. And we could also pick fireball, but I just think poison also better against guards. I picked here the golden knight because I know a golden knight will get a ton of value dashing on top of the guards and so on. Then I do pick the god because there, there's no log in hand and also picking a fire split because I knew I was gonna or like at least I thought I was going to for a great cycle deck but maybe I should have picked ghost instead of the fire spirit because now he picks it so I'm gonna go instantly for mega knight why do I go for mega knight because I just feel like it would work really well I'm using also the minions or like picking the minions and here was like please bro don't pick the inferno ring because I know inferno ring would get a ton of value against me because there's no reset option so he's gonna do this first mistake he's gonna use the G scale which is I mean which is not a mistake to be fair because G scale does pretty well against my mega knight but he decides to not pick a wing condition here so like look what he's gonna pick and this is the main mistake he's gonna go for the worry do we just to have more against my um minions but now the mistake which he does is that he can't defend mega knight inferno dragon ram Rider, right so ram Rider will get a ton of flow against him i mean he has some reset uh, abilities but the problem is he needs to pick inferno now to stop my mk ram Rider push but this kind of means at the same time he doesn't have a wing condition so sometimes like a great tip i think which is kind of with the progress of clash royale um mega draft wise is if you're like enjoying this type of game which I think is the main thing is that you kind of want to pick a win condition kind of early. It doesn't mean you want to pick it like as a first or second choice, but you still kind of want to pick it um, to have it ready early enough, which is in my opinion really important because sometimes like especially if your opponent um, is kind of putting you under pressure, that you kind of already want to have like a safe card. And this is where I really like to have a miner in your deck because if you have the miner in there, you don't really need to worry about it for sure. Like Skelly Bell, at example, or... Um, a goblin barrel, a skelly barrel, a wall breaker. These are all like really great support cards, like a mortar, secondary wing condition. But with miner, you are 100% have a solid wing condition and you don't need to worry about it anymore, which is really, really great because then you can focus on defending and this is really important stuff. So I'm just gonna go use my ability, a perfect ability. Ghost comes way too late and we're getting a ton of trip damage. So right now it's just gonna use a really bad ability. We're just gonna let it go, of course. I don't wanna overcommit against the one HP queen. I know it will be just one shot here and I'm just gonna go here for my minions because now I can easily go in for the ram right here because I know okay, he needs to kind of decide what's he gonna do is he gonna snowball this back to make sure to get well on top of the minions or he's gonna play an inferno tower. inferno tower means free minions value on tower and as you guys can see my minion gets a ton of chip damage even just like 4 and 5 and 6 in the damage this is absolutely massive because we know he doesn't have a win condition he will not break through our defense and this is absolutely awesome because if we win this game we will face Ian to get hopefully number one in the world um, so using my fire spirit bridge just to get some cheeky chip damage he needs to go for the cannon card fire spirit is also a card and draft which I really like to pick, especially when your opponent doesn't really have too many cheap answers, right? If he doesn't have skeletons to respawn, ice bird, like especially if they're like playing beatdown decks, right? Because the fire spirit damage is absolutely crazy. You always need to respond to it, otherwise you're just gonna get free chip damage for just one elixir. So so much value, and this is kind of why I think also um, fire spirit is one of the most underrated cards in Mega Draft. So also, what is what has the highest win rate in, um, in Mega Draft? Let me know guys let me know this is like really really interesting i think for some of you guys um i will i won't tell you this time i will most like do a video about it tomorrow so make sure to check out there but it's crazy it's a crazy card but if it makes sense kind of if you think about it but it's not an obvious card of course so we do get a connection there i'm just gonna go for the inferno ring here and the deck picking was really important there and i think like lucas was kind of maybe going for the guards to make sure he has like a really great control deck defense but it didn't work out here so he's going for that and honestly just about like going for minions i mean it's getting so much value i can just go in there and apparently get so much value also so much chip damage and i can just basically poison cycle and i don't want to do it because i know 
G Skelly Cannon card can be random, so I'm kind of want to wait until I have 10 elixir and just continue going for my fires because for one elixir, he always needs to uh, make a negative elixir trade, even just like a ghost, right? I can easily play my golden knight. I have the free card Psycho now, which is even bigger. And then I'm just gonna go for the inferno during low. Why do go inferno during low? Just to make sure I can push back now the queen here. Inferno. Inferno Dragon is killing everything. I can just basically really easily go now for my goblins here. Really good goblins. I'm just gonna use the ability, which was honestly not too good, but I can just gonna go for minions. Even if it connects, it's completely fine. I'm just gonna go for the fire spirit here. Great fire spirit. And just wanna make sure, okay, nothing to worry about. We're just gonna go on for that. I think I'm also gonna go for the Ram Rider here. Why do I go for the Ram Rider? Just that he's not able to play his G Scaly instantly in front of that because now he's forced. He's forced to play Elixir there, which is, I mean, it's still 5, right? It doesn't matter if you play Inferno Town or like he plays Guards. I think it's even bad he plays Guards normal, basically, because then he can't do anything against the minions. I'm just gonna go for the Fire Spirit Bridge, and now and now it's over. Now he can defend it, but or he can just decide to let it go. He's still defending it, he's still fighting, so props to him, but this game is over. GG's well played, and now we're facing Ian77 for the number one in the world game. Where you going, never slowing down, it's enough to go around. Yeah, you probably knew it's then, but really, you don't know it's now. Blood is showing tell, but all my know me well it was either chase a dream or go to jail but none of us ain't going, going yeah. here we go guys here we are in the game against ian 77 one of the best flash roll players on the planet one of the best youtubers and just like this is kind of what makes flash roll fun for me it's not like facing against like random bots it's not like playing grand challenges it's about the top ladder against the best players in the world battling competing and this is kind of what makes flash roll great for me i know like some of you guys are like more of the casual and and you guys don't really have fun what is like the reason why you still play clash royale this is kind of my question it's just like the game itself is just too good that they can't really make it bad even the updates are really horrible let me know so i'm just gonna go for the fireball here he goes and picks minor which is safe english i'm just gonna go fireball arrows because i feel like okay it's like the only or like i mean it's still normal but i just like arrows because it kind of allows me to get value out of my prince and dark goblin because there's nothing else right yeah there's lightning but it's not good against it there's no lock on play there's no poison in play so i'm just gonna go for the fisherman fisherman is great against um minor Great against Cannon Card, great against Mighty Miner. So honestly, when you have the chance of picking uh, the Fisherman, you should really do it because it, it does get a, a decent amount of volume. He's just gonna go in for the Wall Breaker here and the Snowball. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the Queen first and I think now I'm gonna pick the Princess. I just kinda wanna make sure I maybe have something against like Miner to pick up. I could also still play like Royal Recruits Hoggies for sure. I'm having like close eyes to the, the Royal Hogs there. But I just felt like, okay, if I go on really far, or if I'm really having the recruits in the deck, what would that mean? It would mean that my deck is really expensive and also sometimes lacking of great responses against the cannon card. I mean, I really have like just a Fisherman and also the recruits, at example, if I would pick them, right? So I'm just gonna go over that thinking and think, okay, it doesn't really make sense. If I like, I don't have my recruits also, cannon card does pretty well against recruits, so I'm just gonna go for the cheaper recruit variation and pick the free elixir guards, which are getting a ton of volume since he also doesn't have arrows, doesn't have a log. It's a good, better minor catch, so I just fought the decision going here for the guards is the better um, choice at the end. So we're going for sure for the good lie against Ian. He doesn't give it. Oh, he is giving it back. So, like, Ian's always a nice guy on ladder. Most of the people I've liked to face the most because it's like always pure skill out of him. So, really much respect to him. It's not like Lava first play BMing the hack out of me. So, we do get one hockey shot. We do get a one hockey shot against Snowball. Um,. I get Snowball, Bomber, Dark Wind, so I can't be mad about that. So, using here my Dark Wind, which is picking that up really, really nicely. And, yeah, so I'm just gonna go and I guess for my... Do I go Queen here? Yes, really smart Queen. I'm just gonna go for the Guards here. Honestly, really solid defense, can't complain that. Queen was sniping a White Wall Breaker, and then my Guards were finishing that off. So I think the Guard gets one shot on top of the tower, which is really nice. I'm just gonna use my Queen here now, just to make sure to instantly shred the Cannon card, and Queen was honestly a really good decision from us. So, I'm just gonna go in here for my Princess early. Why do I go Princess early? Because I was expecting him to go for for Miner, and he also does that. So, I guess I'm just gonna go in for my royal hawks yeah i have a fireball waiting in case he goes in for like a bad tesla placement but he just goes in for dark once again he also goes in for a snowball and it's like we do get some decent chip but not really too much but i just take it right it's all about chipping away here's the guards yes i mean he has a dark which is a snowball is a bomber so he got the great answers but i was actually picking them early him away was a major decision because not just they're doing well against the wall breaker even it's a minus more liquid trade but especially against the bomber does pretty well so also Going here for the Prince at the bridge, getting, getting chip damage, right? So, this is the key in the matchup. He has good answers against me. So, having 
the ability to just go for the princess, he always needs to kind of take care of that, and he doesn't really have something cheap. He has like a bomb as the only really cheap card, otherwise he needs to commit a cannon card. He needs to commit a dark prince, he needs to commit Roy, uh, I mean a mighty miner, so he needs to spend overall a ton of elixir. I'm just gonna go for the fisherman here. And you guys will see, this is a bit more damage than maybe you guys thought. So the tower actually gets chipped down like 400 damage or like 300 damage, 370 I think, which is great. I'm just gonna use using my Dark Goblin there. I'm just gonna go in for arrows. And now I'm just gonna go in for my Arch Queen. I think I missed the Arch Queen. I should have played one tile higher, but it didn't work out there. So I need to go for guards now in the back to distract this. My Arch Queen is doing a great job here, but also look at the guards, guys. So he needs to still play something and guards sometimes you should not underestimate guards on offense. Using my perfect Dark Golem placement here, positioning, and Dark Golem Prince, I just really like it. It's, I think, in my opinion, one of the best picks you can do when there's no poison on place, there's no arrows on place, and also there's no um, fireball, rayball, and lightning for sure. You would never like to lightning uh, instead of troops. So I'm just gonna go for the guard side here. Guards are doing an absolutely great job. And I think right now it's just about going in for the Royal Hooks here at the bridge. And for sure he goes on for Tesla, but it's okay, right? We're just gonna wanna bait out the elixir in this type of sequence. And that he's not able to solve all the scanning kind of really well. I'm just gonna go for the queen here, great queen. I'm just gonna go for my arrows here. I'm just gonna go now for my fisherman here. I don't really care if the bomber gets a shot, but he does not even get the shot. The fisherman does like fisherman things, but now I'm just gonna go instantly go in here for my um, queen at the bridge. I mean, prince at the bridge. I'm just gonna go for the guards around here. Dark prince charge, but doesn't matter. So, dark prince will be absolutely not getting too much. Well, I'm just gonna use the ability. I'm just gonna go for the Fisherman. I was kinda trying to get some decent amount of value, but I don't. I was kinda hoping that my queen was killing the Mighty Miner and then just uh, destroying the Bomber. Didn't really work out, it's okay. But it's a ton of hours value, so I don't know why he really did that. I'm just gonna go for a Dark on here. Fisherman also is able to, to, to catch the Miner, but we're just like up now 150 damage, or like 142, better say. So I need to go for Royal Hawks. He still has to come that. He's gonna go for that, so I need to go. I think I'm just gonna relax here because look at this guys this is a bit more damage than i thought so we're actually now in a really decent position also still needs to like doesn't matter what he really does right the queen gets a ton of lawyers so i'm just gonna go for this i'm just gonna go for my arrows here i'm just gonna instantly use the ability because like i was kind of hoping it goes in for the wall break and he also does that so good prediction on my end and now i'm just gonna go in for the prince unfortunately for us the princess was still targeting the tesla while the tesla was going down so that's just basically really unlucky i'm just gonna go for the fireball here fireball's absolutely awesome i'm just gonna go for the guards here really good guards as well i'm just gonna go for arrows here arrows instant cleaning everything up using a fisherman now in the middle just to control the game as good as we can using a dark behind there to just clean up the minor mine also arch queen to the opposite lane kind of for like wall break at example using my ability instant just make sure, okay, we get the DPS going now. I'm just gonna use a hard warrior hoxie on defense to just distract that. We up 700 damage, I know, okay, fireball cycle basically we seal the deal. So I'm just gonna go for the fisherman here. I'm just gonna go arrow here because I still don't need to defend. I'm just gonna go guards here on top. I actually catch that. One pig is on the tower, he misses the snowball, we know that's it. GG is well played. Martin Royale beats Ian 77. Martin Royale is number one in the world, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you.